Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is episode 21 of the Dream Team series and we start off this episode with 14 Dream Team points and I've also got the rare point ability which means I can actually buy a rare silver player so I decided to go for Tonev, a lot of you suggested um, from the last episode a lot of different players, majority of them were out of my budget because I only have 1700 coins or 1800 coins. Uh, Tonev cost me 1700 and I knew he was a good player because I've used him before. So I went with someone that I could trust to be a good player. And uh, yeah, he's about, I think he's got about 90, yeah, 90 pace. His shooting's not great, but he does have 5 star weak foot, which does help, believe it or not. Just even in passing, 5 star weak foot helps a lot in passing, never mind just shooting. Um, but just before we get into our first game, we're just going to move around our team, make sure they've got enough fitness and stuff like that, and enough contracts on the players that I want to play. Um, I just want to say a quick shout out to FIFA Coins today. They are a cheap and reliable source to get your coins from. Make sure you use the discount code EZEKUELG if you're going to make any purchases from that website. Uh, they also do cover EA tax, so just a quick heads up. You probably don't realise that a lot of people compare prices but forget about the EA tax. But we come into our first game here. And we come up against this team, he's got a lot of silver players, the whole team is silver. But he doesn't actually have a great deal of chemistry. I'm not sure if he's new to Ultimate Team or if he was doing it deliberately. But he didn't have a lot of chemistry, about 64 I think it was. And this is probably one of the quickest games of FIFA. At least the quickest game of Dream Team I've ever played uh, without a, a connection problem. Uh, but first, literally first minute, go and score a Vija outside the box. Didn't expect it to go in, but it did. I guess it was the poor chemistry for the goalkeeper. And at 4th minute again, 2-0. I go up with Obatani, puts it into the back of the net from a corner. And I'm just going to show you the gameplay, literally from when he when he uh, kicked the ball off from after scoring my second goal. You see, it doesn't really, he doesn't really get anywhere with the ball until I steal the ball from him. And then I go on the attack again. And yeah, it's, you know, you guys know what's coming. I'm just going to do a couple of fake shots. Through ball, Obatan. I think that's Obatan. No, it's Williams. And Vidra is going to come in at the bottom here. And he's going to put it into the back of the net. And if you're 3-0 down in 7 minutes, I don't expect many people to stay in the game. So you're going to see a rage quit. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. And yeah, he quits. So that means I get an extra Dream Team point. Which means I now have 13, I believe. Which is uh, it's quite a lot of Dream Team points. The problem is I don't have any coins to buy players with. And there aren't really many players that I can buy with the amount of coins that I can save up with. So you guys really need to help me. I need to find a striker and a left back that's kind of affordable. I want to save up to, let's say, 2,000 coins. Try and find a player in those positions for 2,000 coins. Once I've done that, I've pretty much maxed out my silver team. Um, but we should be winning this silver cup. I, I expected to win the silver cup by now. Um, but forget that. We're just going into the second game. It's going really quick now. Sped up the gameplay a little bit too much. Going into our second game, you see he's got a Mayuka. I hate playing against him because he always does something unpredictable. And you can see here, I was on the attack. A couple of passes uh, down the line, and he's through Mayuka. Um, he just literally runs it up to the goal. And I think he shoots across the goal, goes straight into the back of the net. And that was the 15th minute. I, I was playing actually really well this whole episode. Um, I was passing around really well until this bit here, through ball went wrong, passed it back to his goalkeeper and he smacked it up the pitch and that was it. He was through with Abu Bukar, I think that's how you pronounce his name and uh, you know I expected him to cross it in here so I was moving my defender as you can see I was getting ready to block it and I can see he was going in to shoot so block that, he touches it up once and volleys it and I swear to god I put my player there to block him but I guess this just wasn't my game, that was the 30, 35th minute so I knew I had to do some catching up to... Uh, Get the get there, get a level with him at least. Williams though getting through on the 51st minute, giving me a little bit of hope there. Again, 70th minute, you can see that I'm was going on the attack here, and he just hoofs the ball up. And again, he was through. Two things wrong with that. He shouldn't be through from hoofing it up. Second of all, the um, the my defender just missed or dribbled it. And then third of all, a slide tackled into him, and he he gives it back to him. So I was really really pissed off at that. But Vidra does get through 74, 75th minute here. Finesse shot, which hardly you ever see on Dream Team, or at least my Dream Team series. I hardly ever uh, finesse, but I think I should use it a little bit more. 79th minute, you can see the la the connection starts to get a little bit laggy, and it decided to lag us out. I'm not. I think it was the EA servers. I don't think he rage quit because. I didn't get a win or a loss, so I was still at the first stage of the Silver Cup, meaning that the last game that you just watched, the game one, was the game that got me through to the quarterfinals, and that game was a draw. So I'm still in the quarterfinal stage, and I had a, I think Vidra was uh, injured. He had an upper body injury for two games, so I decided to buy him a silver, silver healing card because he's the only striker that I have that's silver from the BPL, so I had to heal him. 
and also I went out to buy a couple of contracts because a couple of my players were running out of contracts and it's just nice to keep your, keep your players fresh otherwise you start putting players in different positions that's when I start to lose because of chemistry and stuff like that so Olsen there and I think yes the CDM is also low on contracts after putting an injury card on Vidra he also was a low on contracts as well so I was lucky I had one extra I don't think I have much coins at this point in time so I'm going to have to play at least another 4 or 5 games before I can buy another player but as I said at the start of this if you missed it make sure you suggest a striker and a left back really appreciate that if you do um, but we come up against this team called Wet Dream or something like that, Wet Wet Dream. And we got, he's got an awesome team, he's got Kelvin, um, S. Wine, Wallison, Macon Liete. He's got the full shebang in terms of you know pricey players and expensive players. But we do get off to a good start, 15th minute, minute you can see the connection's not great. Uh, Overtown crosses it into Vidra and he puts it into the back of the net, which was um, a pretty... Pretty standard, average, crappy goal to be honest with you, but 21st minute I'm making the most of the fact that he wasn't defending very well. Vidra putting it across the goalkeeper into the back of the net, and I think from this stage on I went ultra defensive, and I was just defending my ass off, but here you can see he gets through a 2-1, uh, but Daniel, I think it's Daniel Ake, okay, I think that's his first name, comes in, slide tackles, the ball away, for a corner, he makes nothing of that, but 70th minute now, we're doing well to keep this lead and not, con not conceding any goals. Vidra notices Tonev down the bottom, Perfect through built over to him. I decided there wasn't really anyone in the box that could have got got their head onto it. So I just decided to take a shot and it actually hit the post, which has uh, just shown off that the fact that he's got a five-star weak foot. But he can see me passing around really well. Uh, Williams over to, over to Fiji, about two and a half bars of power, and he puts it over the top. I reckon if he, I reckon one out of two that should have been on target, but just weren't to happen. I think that if that was on target, good chance that would have gone in. 85th, 85th minute though, he does get through and he does a nice little sidestep to, uh, I think it was a finesse or just a, a low powered shot into the back of the net, but I do manage to uh, draw out the win there, 2-1, uh, managed to defend really well, I know a lot of people frown upon putting ultra defensive, but you know, if you've been watching this series, I'm really struggling to uh, to win the silver cup, not struggling to win games, but struggling to win the silver cup, so now we're through to the semi-final, I believe, so we've won two games, only two more games to win. Um, we've actually played three games in this episode. I usually only put three in one episode, but we've had a couple of rage quits or two quits that happened early on. So I decided to put another game in for you guys. I think this is going to be at least nine or ten minutes long, this episode. So if you can hit that like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm thinking of putting up another Dream Team episode tomorrow or every, every day until I win this Gold Cup. So if you do want to see that, make sure you hit the like button. 150 likes in an hour, and I'll make sure I get another episode uh, tomorrow. We started off this game really not very great you can see he's just about to do that over the top ball glitch from the start of the game and he gets his head on it and the goalkeeper goes all stupid and the first minute i was down one nil and i knew i was in for a bit of trouble here i was i wasn't finding my confidence in the passing bit of the midfield you can see here i was struggling to kind of get some space and it was so he was so quick on the counter attack you see i was i was in his half i had the ball with my striker two passes down the line and he's put it into the back of my net and there's hardly anything I could have done in that situation. Again, free ball, pressed A to get ready to pass it out to someone. For some reason, the game decides to think that I tried to pass it at that point in time. Not really, I didn't really understand that to be honest, but didn't have a lot of time before the next goal went in. Again, I pressed, I held B to jostle with the player and for some reason he decided to tackle. Then decided to slide tackle and somehow he sidestepped that or missed it. Williams, nice little, uh, nice little movement to keep the ball there. Uh, my CDM does score. I, I always forget. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to say it's CDM from Chelsea. Um, but turn over, It's the 90th minute. You can see I'm going to lose this game already. I'm losing 4-1, but I did get one back. Vija hit the post um, from the goalkeeper, just pushing it wide. Williams does get a goal back there, but even though I lost that game, I actually feel really good playing on next gen. Um, but the problem is, obviously, we need to win the Silver Cup. I want to ask you guys, do you think I should give myself some coins? Do you think I should send myself over some coins, like 5,000 coins or 10,000 coins? Or do you reckon, even if it takes 5 more episodes or 10 more episodes, do you think I should do this off my own back through the coins that I earn in this, this series? Do you think I should do that? Or would you rather see the see the series speed on a little bit more? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. That would be greatly appreciated. As always, any of your feedback on this uh, series. But um, if you did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Obviously, if you like this series and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe as well. Thank you guys for watching and listening, and I'll see you later. Bye.